Hey everyone, welcome back to Pikmin. Last time, we started our time, unwillingly, on the distant planet by landing in the impact sites. We got our part there, and then moved on to the Forest of Hope and started clearing things out there. And today, we're just gonna go back to the Forest of Hope and continue grabbing some ship parts and raising our Pikmin numbers. We discovered two types of Pikmin, uh, Red Pikmin in the impact site and Yellow Pikmin in the Forest of Hope here. And uh, yeah, all we're going to be doing today is grabbing some parts I didn't get yesterday. Uh, there's two. Yes, two that we can get, I believe. Uh, we can actually check. We have the Rinsgal Radar now, which means we can check where ship parts are. So uh, this one we can get. It's just behind a bomb wall there. And this one we can get. It's just behind a wall. The others we need uh, a third type of Pikmin for. So we are limited in what we can do here, but... Um, we're going to do as much as we can. So there's one in the field, so I'll just get 80 reds out here. And I'll just grab 20 yellows. Uh, we won't really need many more yellows. I actually don't even know what we're really going to need yellows for today. Besides, I guess, those bomb rocks. Um, but even then, that's like very minimal, honestly. Uh, so, we have a whole squadron of Pikmin here. Well, sort of. <laughs> so one thing we can do come on, is go to this grass and start plucking it. Pikmin will automatically pluck it if they're nearby, which is actually incredibly annoying, because if they're nearby at all, even if they're in your command, they will start plucking this grass. And in theory, we're going to get some nectar from that. Uh, Pikmin have three stages of life. Well, not including death, I suppose. They have these little uh, leaves that you see here. Our whole squadron is leaf Pikmin. Uh, they are the weakest and the slowest. Um... Then they, they progress to Bud Pikmin and then Flower Pikmin, uh, progressively getting stronger and faster, and also tripping less uh, when they move. Uh, the Nectar will automatically turn them into Flower Pikmin. Bud Pikmin are actually pretty rare, all things considered, because the only way to get them is if you leave a Pikmin in the ground after it's uh, been brought to life, I guess, by a pellet pose or an enemy. Uh, Pikmin in the ground will gradually get stronger until you pluck them. However, if you leave them in the ground too long, they actually will die. So you don't want to leave them there too long, you just want to leave them long enough where they can uh, get a flower on the head and then uh, that, that, that's all you need. So you notice as well that there's a Pikmin left behind, not left behind, um, in the base camp when we started the day. Uh, Pikmin in the ground will be completely safe from any predators overnight. So you don't have to worry about that. Is there anything around here that I can kill? Or there's some sheer grubs. So, I mean, I guess that's nice. Uh, I'm gonna leave some Pikmin here. Just because... Uh, how do I say this? Just so I can carry that ship part back that's behind that wall. But for now, I want to take my whole squadron and kill some of these ball borbs. I'm going to carry these back with the yellows, some of them at least, not all of them, because again, at most we'll need like a hundred yellow Pikmin to beat the game. So yeah, that always happens. They always wake up that giant ball borb. Not giant, it's called ball borbs, and the dwarf ball borbs. Um, you don't need to get many yellow Pikmin, because again, they're the weakest and their only big unique trait is they can carry bomb rocks. The fact that they are thrown higher because of their ears, I guess, is the reason. Oh, please, please, please kill it, please kill it, please kill it. No, we lost some Pikmin. Oh man, we, we are losing a lot of Guys, come on! Wow, what the hell? They really sucked in that fight. Um, I guess carry them back then. Fucking hell. Do your job. Oh my god. Why are you all so useless? Sometimes Pikmin are not the smartest creatures. Alright, well, gotta restore the numbers a little bit there. So let's just carry some of these, um, eh, is it worth it? Probably not. Might as well break them down, though. So, I, I'm kind of wasting time here, honestly, but we're gonna get everything done today anyway, and f the only other things that we'll do are just, you know, gather Pikmin. So, I don't really feel bad about that. The only thing I should have done is maybe grab more yellows at the start. Because uh, I, I grabbed 20 yellows specifically to get that 20 pelopones that was up there. But, 
Um, I'm not sure how helpful that actually is. So I'm actually going to grab a lot of red Pikmin here so that we can have a hunch of Pikmin in the field. You can only have a hunch of Pikmin in the field at any given time. And if you have a hunch of Pikmin out, um, no more will uh, spawn from the onions when you take things back, which is super convenient. And so I always like to have a hunch of Pikmin in the field so I don't have to worry about going back to the onion to pluck a bunch of Pikmin out. Uh, that sound, by the way, that little 8 bit ish noise means that uh, these Peliposies are going back, which is fantastic. Uh, so I'm actually just going to take all 20 of my yellows here and go grab a bunch of bomb rocks. So I can blow up a bunch of walls. So grab all these. There's one more uh, place to get bomb rocks besides this. I don't think we'll need this many. Actually, you might, because that uh, the wall b uh, before the ship part is actually very powerful. That's a black wall, so it's a bit stronger than the normal gray walls that we see around. So, I guess they finished that wall uh, somewhat near the ship, so that's nice. So we got 20 bomb rock... Oh, we don't. But there's not enough bomb rocks for you? I thought we had 20. I can only see the bombs. But there's not enough bombs for you guys, or...? I guess. I mean, okay, that's fine. We have enough bomb rocks, but... Uh, camera? There we go. I prefer this angle personally. Well, okay, I guess we might as well have you guys something helpful. Carry these pellet poses back. Propagate your species. We have another... Uh... Yes. Uh, if you're holding A on the Wii version, you can uh, press the B button while holding and it will swap between the type of Pikmin that you have to, uh, to throw specifically. It swaps between our flowers as well, I believe, so that's fantastic. Come on, pick down. If you throw um, a Pikmin directly onto a Peliposi, uh, the actual pellet itself, it'll instantly break it down. Don't you dare. Just, just worry about that one for now. Alright, so we need a lot of bombs to break down this wall. Not sure exactly how many, but quite a bit. We need nine, I guess? I always forget the exact number. Yeah, we need nine. So we have more than enough bomb rocks then. That's good to know. Um, so what else can bomb rocks be used for? Well... Oh, well, fuck. Let's take it back then, whatever. Uh, they can be used to fight. So, uh, I guess since we have some extras, we will show that off. I don't usually use them to fight, because frankly they're a very inefficient way to do so, but they can be used for that purpose. I'm just gonna break down these Peliposies first. Get some more yellows. Um, I don't know how many yellows we have, but frankly, I think we probably have enough, so I'm not going to worry too much about my yellow numbers. Now, and I'll go back and check in a bit. Um, actually, sure, I'm going to take you. I'm actually going to kill this dwarf globe orb. See what I do. I only take one, but in theory, I was going to say, I'll just, um, oh. So he cried there. We didn't hear it, but uh, he, they can. The, the dwarf bulb orbs can cry and wake up the bigger ones. Though as far as I know, it's interesting. Um, I think in the... There's a Piclopedia in Pikmin 2. And I think it states that dwarf bulb orbs and these uh, smaller ones aren't actually related at all. So these uh, giant bulb orbs just take care out of these, uh, these dwarf ones because, I guess? I don't know why, but it's, it's interesting. So, go ahead and take that back. And like I said, we can use uh, Bomb Rock Pikmin to fight. So, if you throw a Bomb Rock Pikmin near a enemy, it will either lay down the bomb near them or throw it at them and then run away. Um, it's not super helpful. You can see how much damage it did there, but frankly, swarming is almost always the better option. But it is an option, so I mean, there's that. Might as well finish him off with the Bomb Rocks here. Getting rid of bomb rocks in the Wii version is honestly quite a pain. In the GameCube version... Are you kidding me? Here, I'll just some Pikmin on you, you're gonna die. Uh, that didn't quite kill him. This is interesting. I thought it just killed them, but whatever. He had a little bit of health left. Um, in the GameCube version, bomb rocks were both better or easy to get rid of and harder to get rid of. Or more annoying, rather, to get rid of. Because... Um, if you... Dismissed a Pikmin at all. Say you press the C button, or in the GameCube version, it would be the X button. 
uh, you just miss them at all, then that Pikmin, once you whistled it back, would drop its bomb rock. Which could be disastrous, because that could kill all your Pikmin. <laughs> so it was both good thing, a good thing because it made it really easy, you know, if you just want, didn't want a bomb rock, just throw them over there and whistle them and they'll drop it. It also could have been disastrous. I kind of wish you could still do that though, because I don't actually know how to get rid of bomb rocks offhand in the Wii version. <laughs> because um, if I do this, I throw them over there, um, then I, I can't really get rid of them very easily. Actually, the best way to get rid of them then is to have your Pikmin go into the onion. Anyway, that Nova Blaster, don't know why he didn't use it against the uh, meteor that hit him, but I guess he just wasn't paying attention. But with that, we've increased our ship's capabilities, so we can go to a different region now if we so choose. But anyway, I'm going to deposit all my yellows, because again, like I said, they will instantly drop the bomb rock, and we can just whistle them back before they even get into the ending, which is pretty cool. So there's nine Pikmin out somewhere. Oh, I, there's nine I guess I threw at the ball board, but then it just didn't carry it because they're terrible Pikmin, so. Let's go throw one more on there. Yeah, that's what's happening. Let's throw one more on there and then uh, we'll go grab that ship part so I don't forget it because I've been delaying grabbing it for way too long for no good reason. And uh, there's not much else we can do with the day besides just get Pikmin numbers up a little bit. There's not much else we can really do to get Pikmin numbers up, so just sort of swarm on this get that back as quickly as possible and then we'll look around for some pellet poses we got a few yellows on us uh, we can check in those pause screen specifically how many yellows we have six on us so like, I mean that's enough I guess I don't know how much else there really is to grab uh, there is an end the day button in the pause menu if we press minus here we can go to sunset you can also continue from your previous save if something goes terribly wrong uh, which I probably won't be doing. I kind of like to play Pikmin where it lies. You know, whatever happens, HAPPENS! Hey, buddy! Uh, this is a, whatever, Flint Beetle, I think. Yeah, Flint Beetle. Thanks for interrupting me with the screw. Then bolt. What's it called? Oh, I love this. Uh, the bolt, uh, the bolt's bolt... What? This bolt's bolt holds a kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. So basically, the salesman told him it was really cool. And he should buy it, but he didn't know why it was cool. I love that. So, the Flint Beetle is really annoying. What the hell? Uh, if you throw a Pikmin on top of it, it will drop either Nectar or a Pellet Posey. So, you want to throw a bunch of Pikmin on top of it to get some decent stuff. You won't get anything amazing, but we're getting some Nectar here. And uh, I think it was a 5 Pellet Posey. That's pretty good. Uh, you can carry that back, whatever. Uh, you can also carry that back. Wow, okay, they're actually being really smart. Uh, this number... Uh, it's colored to the Pikmin... Actually, wait, hold on. There's some yellows carrying that out there. Yeah, okay. I need them. To carry some of these yellow pillow poses back, so... That's cool. I'm um, got got, glad I got to show that off. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't show up near... Um, uh, near the ship. Like on that, that upper area over there. Because it usually does. But, I mean, that's good. Pikmin are very much drawn to flint beetles. It's both good and bad. Because if they are... Well, actually, it's just bad, frankly. Because you can't actually hurt them by just punching them. They, you have to throw anything on top of them, or something on top of them, rather, to get any results. So, Pikmin being automatically drawn to them is terrible because they're just wasting their time. And your time, because you have to call them back. And it's, it's really, really bothersome. Um, so what else is there to do? I'm trying to think. But I can't, I can't think of much. Um, there's another wall? No, there isn't. I guess we can break down that bridge. It's over there. Because we can't get any more ship parts. We got everything we could for now. I believe we got all the bulb orbs near... After that one wall we blew up. Uh, we still have some bomb mark Pikmin. I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Uh, there's... Two Pikmin? Okay, there we go. I thought that was... Was it two Pikmin? Uh, I mean, I guess we can build this bridge. Oh, we can have another, we have another enemy over there. Hold on. Let's get all my Pikmin out here. And I'll talk about that enemy. These are Wagpoles. They are barely enemies. In fact, they aren't at all. Um, 
they are just useless creatures that can't do anything but run away from you and are a pain to kill, so it's really not worth killing them, frankly. But since we have nothing else to do, I might as well go around and punch this tadpole creature. And they finished the bridge. Uh, that's actually not too helpful because they're actually the sheer grubs. They will actually deconstruct bridges you've built over time. So we're not going to be in the forest naval, or sorry, we're not going to be in the uh, forest of hope for much longer, or for rather for a while rather. So it's not really too helpful to break down that bridge, but whatever. And we did good today. We lost 13 in battle thanks to that um, ball board problem. But uh, 149 reds and 98 yellows is definitely more than enough. Um, I don't think we're going to be focusing on yellows at all for the rest of the game, frankly. Uh, 149 reds is pretty good as well. Um, I'd like to have more than that because reds are the most, frankly, disposable type of Pikmin because you take them into battle the most. Uh, and that it's the most helpful to have around, generally, in my opinion. Uh, and then, yellow pigment are so situational. But, uh, yeah. So we're doing good, we're doing good. We have enough one behind yet, that's nice. And, uh, yeah. We have a lot of pigment. we're doing good. So, let's go and save again. We've unlocked the Forest Naval. So, uh, actually, uh, we're gonna also go into the ship's log here and read past diary entries. So that's a thing. Just cool, I guess. Um, so, yeah, uh, next time, basically, we go into the Forest Naval to get some, some ship parts and maybe discover a new creature. It's spoilery. Nah, it's not spoilery. See you guys then.